igneous rocks. So these are rocks that have been formed through volcanic processes, mm -hmm. which have also been affected by the action of liquid water. And that's really, really interesting and exciting because liquid water is one of the key ingredients you need for life to start. For years, scientists considered Mars to be a cold, dry, and geologically inactive planet. But NASA's recent discoveries have shattered this assumption and opened up new possibilities for exploration and even the search for extraterrestrial life. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the latest findings on Mars from its recently active volcanoes and earthquakes to one of the most exciting discoveries ever found by NASA so far, underground lakes. Martian volcanoes have been a subject of fascination for astronomers for many years. In the past, Mars was thought to be geologically inactive, and its volcanoes were considered extinct. However, recent observations have shown that Mars is much more active than previously believed. The NASA Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, has been instrumental in revealing many of the planet's geological features, including its volcanoes. The MRO has captured thousands of images of the Martian equatorial region since its launch in 2005. These images have provided astronomers with valuable insights into the planet's geology, including the presence of landslides and debris flows on the slopes of Martian volcanoes. These features suggest that volcanic activity is ongoing on Mars and that its volcanoes may still be active. One of the most fascinating features observed on the Martian volcanoes are the characteristic patterns in the shape of a Christmas tree, which are created by rocks that have slid down the slopes. These traces are around 900 kilometers long and are thought to have formed after a strong earthquake. Over 4,500 of these traces have been discovered so far, and approximately one-third of them were created after 2006. This suggests that the Martian volcanoes are still undergoing significant geological activity. The largest volcano on Mars is Olympus Mons, which stands at a height of 22 kilometers, making it the tallest volcano in the solar system. Olympus Mons is a shield volcano, which means that it has a broad, shallow shape, and it is formed by successive lava flows. Other notable Martian volcanoes include Argia Mons, Pavimus Mons, and Ascreus Mons. Studying Martian volcanoes is important because they can help us understand the planet's history and its potential for habitability. Volcanoes can release gases into the atmosphere, which can contribute to the creation of a greenhouse effect that could warm the planet and make it more hospitable for life. They can also create underground reservoirs of water, which could provide a habitat for microbial life. Since 2018, the InSight spacecraft has been monitoring and recording Mars quakes using the seismic experiment for interior structure. It measures the movements of the Martian surface caused by seismic waves generated by Mars quakes, meteorite impacts, and atmospheric phenomena. In the two years since it started detecting Mars quakes, the InSight mission has detected over 1,300 tremors. Most of these Mars quakes have been small and harmless, with magnitudes ranging from three to four. However, a few of them have been stronger, with the largest recorded at a magnitude of 4.2 in August 2021. This makes it the most powerful Marsquake ever recorded. Scientists believe that Mars quakes are caused by the planet's continued geological activity, despite its smaller size and relative cooling. The movement of magma beneath the Martian surface can cause the bending of a single lithospheric plate which can lead to marsquakes. These marsquakes are not as strong as earthquakes on Earth, which are often caused by the movement of tectonic plates. While the marsquakes themselves are not particularly significant, they provide scientists with valuable information about Mars' internal structure and processes. The InSight missions data has shown that Mars has a crust, mantle, and core, just like Earth, but its composition is different. The Martian crust is thinner than Earth's, and its mantle may contain more iron and sulfur. Additionally, the data suggests that Mars' core is not entirely molten, but may have a solid inner core. The study of Marsquakes also helps scientists learn more about the planet's past and present. By studying the seismic waves generated by Marsquakes, scientists can determine the structure of the Martian interior and its composition. 
This information can provide insight into how Mars formed and evolved over time. The habitability of Mars is one of the most intriguing questions that scientists have been trying to answer for decades. While Mars is an inhospitable planet with a thin atmosphere and high radiation levels, there are some indications that it may have the conditions necessary to support life. The discovery of subsurface lakes on Mars has been one of the most significant findings in recent years, as it suggests the possibility of liquid water on the planet. One of the challenges of studying the habitability of Mars is the lack of direct evidence of life on the planet. However, scientists have been able to study the planet's history and geology to better understand its potential for supporting life. For example, Mars once had a much thicker atmosphere and a magnetic field that protected it from the solar wind. These conditions may have allowed liquid water to exist on the surface of the planet, which is a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. Another important factor in the habitability of Mars is its subsurface environment. The planet's surface is exposed to high levels of radiation and extreme temperatures. However, the subsurface may be warmer and more protected. In recent years, scientists have discovered evidence of subsurface water on Mars, including the large underground lake detected by the Mars Express spacecraft in 2018. The presence of subsurface water raises the exciting possibility of microbial life on Mars. On Earth, microbial life has been found in extreme environments such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents and subglacial lakes in Antarctica. It is possible that similar environments could exist on Mars, and scientists are actively looking for signs of life in the subsurface water. In addition to subsurface water, there is also evidence of past surface water on Mars. Scientists have identified dry riverbeds and canyons that were likely formed by flowing water. These features suggest that Mars was once a warmer and wetter planet, with a more Earth-like environment that could have supported life. In 2018, the Mars Express spacecraft orbiting Mars detected a large underground lake on the planet's southern pole using its radar instruments. The lake was estimated to be about 20 kilometers wide and located under about 1.5 kilometers of ice. This discovery was the first evidence of liquid water on Mars, and it provided a significant boost to the search for life on the planet. Three smaller bodies of water were also detected nearby, with the lakes covering an area of over 75,000 square kilometers in the Planum Mostrail, a large ice-covered plain. These lakes were found to have a high concentration of salt, which makes the water more resistant to freezing, allowing it to remain liquid despite the planet's frigid temperatures. In 2022, instruments on the ExoMars orbiter showed giant reserves of frozen or liquid water in the Valles Marineris canyons, which are located along the planet's equator. The canyons cover an area the size of the Netherlands and were formed by tectonic processes that are still active today. The discovery of water in these canyons suggests that Mars may have more extensive underground water systems than previously thought, increasing the possibility of finding life on the planet. Scientists are now studying the composition of the water in the underground lakes to determine if they can support life. They are also searching for signs of life in dried up surface water bodies, where ancient rivers and lakes once flowed on Mars. The presence of water on Mars is an exciting finding, as it is a critical ingredient for life as we know it. If life exists on Mars, it would revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place in it. The possibility of finding signs of life on Mars has been a subject of fascination and interest for scientists for decades. Similar subglacial lakes on Earth, such as those found in Antarctica, have been found to contain microbial life, which has led to speculation that life could also exist in the underground lakes on Mars. However, the conditions on Mars are much harsher than on Earth. Mars is a cold and arid planet with high levels of radiation and no liquid water on its surface. The underground lakes on Mars may be frozen due to the high concentration of salt, which could make it difficult for life to survive. Despite these challenges, scientists are determined to search for signs of life on Mars. They are currently studying the composition of water in the underground lakes and searching for any signs of life in dried up surface water bodies. It's important to note that Mars was not always the inhospitable planet that we know today. 
In the past, the planet was warmer and had a thicker atmosphere, which could have allowed for the existence of lakes and rivers on its surface. By studying the geological history of Mars, scientists hope to better understand the potential for life on the planet and what conditions could have supported it in the past. The recent discoveries on Mars have opened up new avenues for exploration and research, bringing us closer to unlocking the mystery of its habitability and potential for extraterrestrial life. As we continue to uncover more about this fascinating planet, we invite you to stay tuned for more updates and discoveries by subscribing to our channel. Don't miss out on the latest news and discoveries about the universe. Subscribe now and join us on this exciting journey of discovery.